Hey guys, I'm gonna start this road trip. And I did plan on going to the Grand Canyon today, but apparently it's flooded. And I did have to postpone this trip because of Hurricane Hillary. I'm gonna tell Stacy that I survived Hurricane Hillary and I'm going to be very dramatic about it, but it wasn't really that bad. And look at my car right now. Uh, there's no space anywhere. It's really packed. I didn't even bring all the stuff I wanted to bring. Here's the dogs. Here in Indio still, I just got a Starbucks. And I'm really happy. I'm happy now, but like earlier I was in my room crying because I was angry and I was just like, I can't wait to leave this place. But now I'm, I'm chilling. I let it all out and I will continue to let it out because I'm sure it will come back. And we'll see what happens. I really wanted to go to the Grand Canyon though. It's flooded right now. Out of all the days, right? Okay, I'm on my way. I'm in Arizona. The views have been really nice. It's been really nice. It is six in the morning. And guess what I woke up to? my dogs i should have put them in their crate just all of a sudden my back felt warm turns out it was the worst smelling piss i've ever smelled in my life on me and all over the bed which never happens like they don't pee on the bed and it was just a lot of piss i also took them out three hours before like at three in the morning so i didn't think that would be an issue like, it was not the best way to start my day but like, look at this. Look at this view. We made it all worth it. Just kidding, it wasn't worth it, but it helped. Look at this. Couldn't see it um, last night because it was raining and it was really dark. There's my lane park job. There's a lot of parking spaces, okay? So it's fine. Look at this flower right here. So beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna go get breakfast now. I did not get much sleep and I do have a long drive. I plan on going to the grand canyon i think it's open now and i am currently in williams arizona got my breakfast i'm trying m really hard to be positive right now but i i know these are like hotel eggs but like they're the worst eggs i've ever tasted in my life i'm gonna eat them but i'm kind of forcing it and this is only day one i took everything off and i'm contemplating if i should put it to wash but i kind of need to go all right i'm heading out now i left him a little note and a bigger tip than usual and we're heading out let them know at the front desk and they were really nice about it so i don't feel too bad anymore i'm gonna listen to like some home let me come home because look at the vibe i love it here I love everyone here. We have arrived and the views have just been so nice, but I'm gatekeeping them because I'm selfish, but also because I can't really record when I'm driving and I'm kind of using my phone. So that's my excuse. This is noise. These dogs have no idea. They have no idea. They have no idea. I'm holding a shit bag. Happens to be a sheen bag as well. It looks better in person. I am shirtless. It's hot. And I know I have a car full of stuff, so I'm sure I have shirts, but it's like, it's hard to get to. Here's the thing, okay? My dogs are not road trip dogs. They're not going out dogs. They're not even dog park dogs. They are not dog friendly. So they were just like barking at every dog they saw and I had to reroute. I sound like a complainer, but it's just like I couldn't really enjoy it. And it's not their fault, I know. It's not their fault. I don't know, I feel a little bit gloomy. I felt a little antisocial today, you know what I mean? People were trying to talk to me and I couldn't really make conversation. Versus if I was like very upbeat and stuff, like it would probably come naturally, but I feel bad about that. And I wish I had someone here to share this with. Sad. And I'm kind of sleepy. Just a little bit. I need to get food. I can't even go inside to eat. Because I can't leave the dogs in my car. Is that legal? But this is fine. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Today, we got some Son of the Baconator. With some cheese and bacon fries and a lemonade next stop is albuquerque 
Albuquerque. I think I'm saying it right. I don't know what there is to see there. Right now, on the list is just Breaking Bad stuff. But I don't know if I'll see that today or tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. We're taking it one hour at a time, not even day. Not even day. One hour at a time. Okay, I think the the lack of sleep is catching up to me. I never thought I would ever fall asleep on the road because I always thought that was just natural selection. And it still is, but I didn't think I'd be a part of that. You guys like my glasses? You like my glasses? I feel like my glasses help because I was like, oh shit, I can see now. I think that kind of distracted me for a minute. I'm at a pet relief area. The dogs needed a little break. I haven't peed all day, but I just want to wait until I get to a hotel. They look like a total mess. I'm like almost four hours, like three and a half at least away from New Mexico. I have no idea what to expect. I've never been there. All right, this place seems a little ghetto, but it's okay. Because look, I fit in. I can adapt. Look, floor, floor, so you don't piss. We're chilling. We're chilling. Did I mention I'm in New Mexico already? I'm gonna go to bed. It's early, but I'm so sleepy, and I, I've been a mess. I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow, but I can't think about it right now. I'll think about it in the morning when I wake. I know I seem miserable, but I'm just I'm just super tired right now. But like this has been fun. Good night. Good morning. Um, thought of the day is it's crazy how much environment you're in kind of like affects you. Yesterday I was in Williams, Arizona, and I was listening to calm folk music. Today in New Mexico, the vibe is hip hop, R and B, and so this is the vibe for today. Like. Gonna stop by some Breaking Bad houses. I wanted to go for like a Jane vibe. I'm giving more Jesse vibes. So I'm more Jesse than I am Jane. But anyways, let's go do that. The dogs are, were already freaking out, so I just brought them with me. And I'm gonna try to take them to the store, but we'll see if they let me. It's so cute. I love it here. They got music. They got cars. They got grass. Well, they let me in with the dogs. I wish I wasn't alone, so then I can take a picture right here. But I am alone. Fun fact, this is what the New Mexico license plate looks like. They have that little, little chilies. Guys, it is Jesse Pinkman House. This is where it went down. So, fun fact, um, Los Boyos and Manos is not like a real restaurant, but Twisters is. And this was Rosanna. Nice. Some stuff. Here's the deal. I got California burger because I had guac and bacon. <gasps> I need to get much more. Apparently, Twisters is like a New Mexico food chain. Try something new since we're here. Bro, I literally forgot to record Jesse and Jane's. I was in and out of there because I'm pretty sure like people live there. Hopefully not, but like it was scary. Getting gas and the prices um, getting lower. It is three something. So, and Arizona is still four. This is where Saul's office was. In this corner. There it is. This is Walter White's house. It's blocked off for some reason, but it's that one right there. I bet everyone hates me. I bet those people that live there hate everyone. That's why they had all those things up front. You must have known that that was gonna be a thing if you lived there. 
right? And last but not least, the infamous car wash. There's different vibes everywhere. This rest stop right now is giving me, I've never smoked a cigarette before, but like I wish I had one right now because that's the vibes that I'm feeling right now. Just like in moments like these, it would be helpful to have like another person. My body. I didn't know there were there was picnic areas though until like today. That makes sense though. I never thought of that. Really hot. Which is rare for me to say. But like, here's why. Hear me out. Hear me out, first of all. Because I'm hot. Second of all, I feel so confident because it's like I'm so adventurous, very independent. I enjoy my own company. I'm mysterious, like I'm I don't know where I'm, I'm at. Nobody knows me here. They don't know me. They don't know me here. So why wouldn't I feel hot? Hey, I'm kind of just that bitch. Like I knew that, but like now I really know. Like I'm reassured that I am that bitch. I don't know if y'all can see him, but this dog's chilling on my stuff. He has a designated area with biscuit, but that's cute. Cause like I can see him in my little mirror. And it's just a vibe. We're listening to Lana Del Rey, and he seems so happy. He seems comfy, living his best life. I can't really see Biscuit. I'm tired, and I feel like poop. Good night. Also, I don't have my charger, but I'm too lazy to get it from the car. This is what the Oklahoma license plates look like. Just a fun fact. I mean, I would like to know. Not gonna lie, I'm not feeling too good today. I think I'm mentally ill. I just wanted to be real. I'm getting Chick fil A. Um, woke up late. Okay, well, the Chick fil A guy made my day. He made my day. He was really nice. He's like, are you moving? And I was like, yes. He's like, how far and stuff? And I was like, to Maryland. He was like, damn. Also, Turbo was peeing his head out the window. So. I started feeling like shit last night, but um, I think I'll be good by today. Yes. Have a great day, okay, ma'am? Thank you, you too. My pleasure. Oh, that was fast. Fuck. I ain't never seen a yellow gas pump. Maybe a green one. I don't even remember the colors that they were in California. I just remember I would always get the black one. It's not here, and I don't know which one to use now. I'm going to leave these glasses for someone who will appreciate them because I have way too many in my car. Try to be happy, but today is just a sad day. I've been crying, listening to sad music, just past like a little thunderstorm. It's like so bipolar, just like me. She's just like me. Last stop of the day. It's nice out here. I feel better. So, I don't know. I'm just all over the place. I uh, should take one hour to get to my hotel. And yeah. How I think this is Nashville. Alright, I need to drive. Good morning. Oh, shit. Good morning. Today is a great day. First of all, Look at this. This is probably the worst hotel I have stayed at this whole trip. And I'm not really picky, like I don't mind it. I'm just saying. It smells like dog piss, and I think that's the smell. It's like covered up dog piss, and I get it. It's a pet friendly hotel, so maybe this is where they put everyone that has dogs or whatever. And great because I don't have to worry about ruining anything because it already smells. My dogs have been actually pretty good. They only had that one accident on the first day. You remember that? I took a shower just now. 
the tub filled up really fast, which is kind of nasty. I got PTSD because like it would always happen at like this one house that I lived at. But the thing is, that was my house, you know? New Mexico felt ghetto, but like not a bad way. Like it was just like everyone's minding their business. But over here, it feels ghetto, which I'm surprised because it looked like nice. But I just feel like people here are out to get you. People here choose violence. But anyway, I'm only... 13 hours away from Maryland, which is where I'm going to, by the way. Stacy is waiting for me there. I know my emotions have been all over the place, but it is what it is. That's the reality of it. That is my truth. Mi corazón, mi corazón, mi corazón. I have 10 minutes before it's checkout time. I feel like this vlog is not too entertaining. Like, yes, I'm traveling across the world, but like, I didn't do much. And that's okay. I always wanted to be a morning person, but it was never for me. My sleep schedule is a little bit better. I still don't get enough sleep because I'm like still sleep late, but now I'm waking up early. So it's just like, it's, I'm transitioning, okay? I'm transitioning from being a night owl into being a morning person and it's not easy it's progress and I think if I keep this up I can do it one thing about me is I will never let anything go to waste like I got this egg but I didn't eat it and I don't really feel like eating it right now but I'm not gonna throw it away and I'm like oh my god I'm like looking around and I'm like well, how can I keep this egg See, I got a cup. I'm putting it in this cup. And now it's good to go. Like, I could just throw it. I'm not gonna do that. I admire that about myself, okay? It's kind of cute. I got Panera. I'm in Tennessee still. But, um, I feel like. Everyone is looking at me weird here. It feels really white. They know I'm not from here. Can you tell? Because I feel like I can fit in. It's either that or it's like, oh, she, this girl is like a mess. Because I am a mess right now. Is it going to be like this in Maryland? Will I make friends? Anyways. To Virginia we go. This is... Uh, Virginia now and I'm horrified I don't know what it is but it's just so different I feel like I'm in a horror movie I feel like I'm gonna get kidnapped the people here are nice like they're nice but like it's creepy nice I have a lot of anxiety right now it's a normal hotel but I think it's haunted and I'm just like oh bad things have happened here I'm so scared Is maybe it's not so scary. It was just really scary at night, and it was this was all darkness. But um, it's nice. I like it here. They also had the best breakfast. Nobody, and I mean nobody, ask me why I keep wearing the same shirt. Nobody asked me that like question. Okay. Can you get to the back, dude? I literally got breakfast, went back to sleep, rushed for checkout time, and I'm just eating it here. I think that was my last stop. I'll be heading to Maryland now, and I'll get there by tonight. And that's the end of my road trip. It's kind of hitting me now. What do you mean this wasn't a road trip that was going to last forever? That was a destination? Crazy. Hi. So I'm one minute away, and I'm emotional because I'm going to see Stinky. Okay, here I am. Here I am, world! God, the person in front of me is so pissed. He like threw something out the window. But like very aggressively. One minute, one minute. Ah. <sighs> Dead 
that's the end of it. I will keep y'all updated another time. And yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>